hello friends welcome back to makati and uh, this is the second video in the series of how to make a responsive website without without using media queries so this is the template we have designed in our first video i will just show you uh, the demo here uh, this is the one we created in our last video uh, we have created this uh, home section and you can see that uh, these uh, sections doesn't fit uh, properly in the window uh, so we will be using um, a jquery plugin to fix this issue and also we will work on the menus on the left side so these are the menus so this is the overall design we are going to create so we have several sections like uh, our team about us uh, so this is about section is divided into two parts so in this uh, video we will be completing the about us section also so let's start with the about us section and uh, later on we will move on to uh, uh, the menu uh, jquery fx and other details so first let's uh, start with the about us section i will create a class name about and inside the, the about uh, uh, division I will be creating two more divisions with a class name of about content now this is for this will be for the left side content and this uh, about content will be for the right side uh, jQuery progress uh, circles so let's uh, first uh, place some content here I will just use lorem 80 to uh, produce 80 words of content and then here we have a list here so i have unordered list so let's code the unordered list the list has five items so i will just speed code this one and just zoom in the design uh, here you can see that we have uh, the check mark icons so we will again go to font awesome and just copy and paste the check square code if you don't get this uh, please go back and watch my first video in this series and uh, come back here so that you can better understand what's going on so I am just uh, placing the icons here so that we can just use them as bullets I will just name these uh, uh, list items uh, it's bet better to place them in a span uh, tag so that we can style them properly so I will just uh, include span here for all these uh, list items here you can see that we have one more paragraph in the end so I will just place some text here so now I, uh, let's check it in the browser uh, before that uh, we need to style it actually so let's go ahead and style these sections uh, for the about we will use display flex now this is the secret behind designing uh, a responsive website without using media queries because here uh, for the child element we can give a fixed width for example here I am giving a fixed width of 360 pixels and for the uh, parent we are uh, using display flex and flex wrap wrap so this will make it uh, responsive uh, sort of uh, you will better understand it with one or two more examples which we will be covering in our next sections so for the paragraph tag I will just style the paragraph uh, tag for the font to be precise and give some font size I am speeding up the process uh, uh, in this uh, video because uh, I think it will be a pretty long video if I slow it down so uh, for this video and the next video in the series which will be my last video 
uh, in this series so let's just uh, style this paragraph i will just show you the demo here once i so let's check it out in the browser Uh, I think I didn't save the HTML file so I will just hit uh, Control S and let's refresh yeah so here you can see we have the paragraph uh, whereas the list is not styled so let's go ahead and style the list and also the text is uh, pretty bright in uh, color so we will use this anti-aliased so that it matches with the, our design so now let's go ahead and style the list we will use the same color as the paragraph text I will just copy it out here Uh, you can use uh, whatever uh, font weight or font size uh, you require for this uh, template or any other template you wish because this is just uh, uh, giving you an overall idea about how to do things uh, in HTML and CSS. Now you can see that the list has come alive but I need to uh, give some indent to this uh, list. So what we will do is we will uh, give a padding left for these list items and there should be some space in between the icon and the uh, name of the list so let's give a padding here padding left of 30 pixels now let's check it in the browser now, you, uh, now it's uh, fine Here on the right side we will use a jQuery circle progress bar plugin uh, which is available on the github uh, it's an open source so you can just go to this uh, URL and copy or you may just download the package if you are using Linux you can just go to command line and install it So this is the one I have used in the sample project. So let's go to the code examples and let's uh, uh, this is the place where you can download the entire JS files. So here in this folder what you need to do is unzip the uh, file and then copy a JS file uh, which is in the dist folder you just need to copy the minified version and place it in the project folders JS folder so just go to JS and paste it here and now you need to include this file in the HTML uh, page so I will just show you how uh, to use this uh, plugin uh, here you can see some sample CSS already there so instead of typing this all uh, I will just copy and paste this and you can just edit this later on so here I will just paste this we will make some minor changes to, to this to match it to our website so I will just mention comment here about that we have just copied this from the circle progress plugin now this is the html code uh, there is a parent uh, element which is named circle with a class name of circles and you have first second third and fourth uh, likewise so as we have copied uh, copied the same css we will just paste the html here in the about content section before that i will just give a title here in a h4 tag 
and then paste the HTML we copied. Uh, first, let let me just uh, create a circles block, and then let's uh, paste all these. So these these are the ones which I have copied from the jQuery uh, circle progress project. So I will just change these text. You need to remember that you have to place this strong uh, tags here because that's where the percentage or the number appears in the circle. So. Uh, you you can go through the documentation of this plugin it, it's a very good plugin you can just uh, refer uh, the complete documentation and then uh, come back to this video if you are uh, having some difficulty in understanding uh, so let's uh, uh, include the js file first here because uh, we forgot to link that and once we link the circle progress dot min dot js file we also need to include some jquery code in our own uh, js file uh, here you can see in the documentation code here in the second example uh, you can just copy the second example and paste it in the uh, jquery part of our js file we haven't uh, created our own js file so we need to create a new file here and let's paste the code here now before uh, we include the code uh, we need to call the jquery function uh, this checks whether the document is loaded so you just need to include this in the beginning so you can just refer jquery documentation if you need some help about how to use jquery now let's save this file file save as and we will save it in the js folder and name it our own dot js now uh, this uh, uh, J jquery part only refers to the second circle so we need to copy and paste this three times because we are using three circles with three different class names so for the first I think it uh, the name is first and let's paste it once more and name it third and for the values here you can see the value is 0 0.6 we have to use the value uh, which we want to give in the circle for the third circle it's uh, 87 uh, you have to make changes uh, at two uh, places here for the value as well as math round uh, in the last line so now let's move to the HTML and include our new JS file at the end of all the JS includes so you just need to include here our own dot JS and let's check in the browser here you can see that the circles are working fine if you don't want to show the percentage sign you can uh, remove that in the uh, js file our own js file uh, now coming back to uh, the css part uh, we will make some changes here so that uh, it displays properly in the web page so i have ch made some changes to the margin and i will include a font for the span tag this is the text displayed uh, in the bottom of the circle uh, the continent names so we will just style those text names So let's check it in the browser. You can see that there is a notice uh, noticeable difference in the color uh, of the text. So let's go ahead and style our header. Uh, this is for the text project completion status. So let's copy this uh, and make changes 
uh, I will just change the font size I will remove the line height it's not required here instead I will give a padding and a margin of 10 pixels again we don't need this uh, for the top uh, we will use 50 pixels now let's check how this looks in the browser uh, it's looking good but the font I think is different uh, from the one I have used in the design file uh, let me just uh, set the margin properly uh, so for the font I think we have used the different uh, I think we have used this font so let's copy this font let me check in the browser yeah it's perfect So now we have uh, somehow completed the about us section. Uh, you will notice that it's overflowing to the next se uh, section. The content is overflowing to the next uh, section. But for the time being you can ignore this because we will be uh, using a plugin to uh, make this scrolling smoother. You can see here that it's already responsive. Uh, so the content is collapsing uh, to the next uh, row. So the only thing which has remained is uh, we need to adjust the sections properly so for this we will use a ready-made jquery plugin called scrollify uh, which is a great plugin you can uh, refer its documentation it's pretty easy to use so what you need to do is just go uh, to this website and just uh, click on download here uh, you can go to the Git, github page and click down, download zip and just uh, unzip the file and you just need to copy this js file and paste it in the project folder uh, projects JS folder of course and you need to include this in the HTML uh, at the footer section just before your uh, our own JS file so let's uh, first include this So we will include this uh, maybe here js slash jquery uh, dot scrollify dot js now here um, uh, you have just called the js file but uh, to implement it properly you need to define the section sections properly in this uh, this is how you need to use you can refer its documentation on its github page uh, it's pretty easy i will show you how to use it you j you can just copy this part uh, from here and paste it in the jquery section on the top in our own JS file now here you have two uh, fields that is one is section and another is section name you need to give these two properties uh, names so for the section we already have defined a section called snap so we will give a class name of snap here in the section and for the section name uh, we didn't define anything because the section name should be defined with a uh, prefix of data so this is the format in which we need to define it so we will have to define this in our HTML page uh, so we will make that correction later on first I will just name it page here and go to each of the sections uh, starting with the header section uh, which is the home section so let's go here to the home section and here we will create 
data page and name it as header you can name it even as home it doesn't matter so we just need uh, to use this on each and every section so let's go to this section and name it about so what this is doing is this is converting each section into a page which scrollify can easily identify to scroll to that section uh, plus it uh, automatically adjust itself to show that particular section when you scroll so this is a uh, pretty cool um, uh, i will show the demo demo once uh, i complete the edit here so once you have defined the data pages you can just hit save here and let's check it in the browser now now you can see that it's adjusting properly and uh, even the content on the about us page is not uh, overflowing to the next section it's it gets automatically uh, fitted in rightly inside the the about section and when you resize the window it's automatically collapsing uh, to make it a responsive website so we didn't use any media query here uh, likewise we will be designing uh, for rest of our sections for the team section also we will do the same now for the left menu we will uh, include some id here to define each of these uh, menu items so here just before the class i will include a id name of about block so we will do this for each of these we need to do, do this because uh, uh, we are going to implement the hover effect for this menu plus we need to uh, go to that particular section on clicking so we will be implementing this in jquery so to do that first what you have to do is you have to identify that particular section here i am mentioning about block and on about block hover uh, the function which we need to do is uh, we need to call the particular text so we have placed that text in an id called about we will just use slide toggle I will just save this one and show you what we are, have done uh, now. So uh, here you can see that the text about is appearing because we had uh, placed this text in our first video if you remember and we have used the display none property in CSS to hide uh, that text. So here we you can also use stop so that it doesn't repeat uh, on hover always so it will only show uh, once if you hover on it so let's copy and paste this over and over again for all the four sections so we have completed the hover part so I will just refresh and show you that it's working for all the icons. So now we need to implement the click part that is whenever we click on a particular icon we need to move to that section. So, so to do that we will be using uh, scrollify again uh, with jQuery. So here we will be calling the same id so i will just copy paste this block and instead of over i will use click and here we will be using scrollify i will just remove uh, scrollify dot move and the section name i will just remove this so that you don't get confused and this is the id name we need to provide um, we need to include it in quotes so this is how the syntax works so for example here whenever i click to i will just show you its documentation here 
now this is how it works so let's uh, save it and test it out so whenever i uh, click to the about section uh, it's going to the team section i think i've made some mistake here yeah i included the team id here instead of the about so i will just change it to about and copy and paste this uh, three times again and make the necessary changes for the remaining sections services and contact so this will finish the menu part and uh, you will see that on clicking the menus it will go to the respective sections uh, i will just show it in the browser so it's working fine uh, hope you like this video and uh, we will be covering uh, our team and services section as well as the contact section in our next video and we will be completing this series in our uh, third part so i will uh, be speeding it up so that you don't get much bored mm, i think you understood the concept of uh, how uh, this actually works that is how uh, we can create a responsive website without using media queries uh, what we do is we uh, define the parent element as a display flex and use a fixed width in the child element that's how it works uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video